Hello besties. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I hope you are doing fantastic. We have a new moon in Capricorn on December 23rd through the 24th and I wanted to go ahead and do a reading on it. What do we need to know? New moons are all about manifesting your desires, going after what you want in life. So I'm going to go ahead and definitely utilize, you know, scripting and acting as if I already have it. And since it is an earth sign, I like to go ahead and use the element since I know it's a little colder where we're at. Normally, I would go on a walk, um, but probably just getting grounded, maybe doing some meditation, some yoga, some just, you know, comfort of my home, whatever you like to go ahead and do. Theme-wise, get organized, deep clean maybe, but with Capricorn, it's all about being reliable, a hardworking sign. Put your money where your mouth is kind of type energy. It's like buckling down and deciding what you want. So use those themes and go ahead and script your manifest and manifest your dream desires on everything you want and more. But we're going to go ahead and use four decks here. So we're going to start out with the tarot per usual. Jumping to LaRosha's Goddess Queen Just Me 23's deck. Your guys' favorite deck. Then we have to use the Moonology because it's a moon cycle, of course. Duh, Kelly. And then we're going to bring it home with some Shadow and Light Oracle. So kind of, you know, the darker side, your higher self side, what messages need to come out for this new moon. So we'll go ahead and get started. Make sure you subscribe and hit that like button. It really helps me out. We are so close to a thousand besties and I cannot do it without you. Plus, you'll be entered to win a free personal private reading from your girl. Those readings that I do, I don't offer um, readings unless they are free. So this is your only chance and all you have to do is be subscribed. And if we hit a thousand besties, instead of picking three, I will pick five if we hit it by the new year. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start the same way per usual. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Out through the mouth, putting good energy into the card. God energy source, your ancestors and mine because we are energetically aligned. What do we need to know with this new moon in Capricorn? What are we bringing in? What are the new beginnings? Please and thank you, spirit. <laughs> we literally got the world, the first card that came out. Lucky number 21. A new cycle, a success, an achievement coming in, you know, feeling accomplished feeling like you know you're fulfilled you feel like you belong maybe you're getting a community around you of people that are going to be supportive that you bring into your life because there's been a lot of restriction in your life so we have the is this the nine of swords one two three four five six seven eight eight of swords i always get the eight of swords and nine of swords confused but uh, we have it in the reverse so when it's upright it's about like not seeing things for how they are feeling restricted constrained but when it's in the reverse you're escaping this you're finding solutions there's this overwhelming sense of relief taking power taking control back of your life and realizing you are in control of your actions your reactions and how you respond to things i think this is prevalent especially in capricorn being reliable hard working knowing what you want and I'm just telling you, we got the Ten of Pentacles popping out. So Virgo energy, There's this is kind of that fuck you money. So money is going to be looking good. I mean, Capricorns are the hardworking sign. You know, as an earth sign, we are the Pentacles. But just dealing, I say it as we, I'm a Taurus sun, Taurus moon, Capricorn rising. So this is going to hit me hard. But this is your rags to riches. This is your financial freedom. No longer feeling like you're living paycheck to paycheck feeling like you have abundance in your life and but at the same time feeling grateful, thankful and blessed for everything that you do have because you're going to get some mental clarity on a situation. So, if this is in career or finances, definitely you're going to decide, do I need to start that business? What are my business plans that I need to focus on? If this is dealing with a person, there's potential breakthrough communication here. We're going to get some more clarification, but you know, you're realizing the truth and you're able to go ahead and move forward and honestly have those new ideas and a new way of thinking because you know, you got a lot of options that are coming your way, possibilities, opportunities, because you are embracing who you truly are standing in your soul mission, your soul path, and deciding you're ready to walk away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you. 
But new moons are the perfect time to manifest, dream, daydream, think about exactly what you want and get after it. Because you got a gift from the universe coming in with the six of pentacles, which is lovely to see. We got a lot of pentacles coming out. But literally, you can see with the six of pentacles, there's this lovely scale right here. So this is gifts from the universe, blessings, divine timing coming in and really feeling like you're able to give to others. So it's kind of like being out of that fight or flight mode. But it's the equal give and take in a relationship, a career, a finances, you know, it's feeling valued and feeling well paid for your services and not feeling like, damn, I'm being gypped over here or why didn't I get that promotion? It's kind of more like, hey, there's going to be a knock, 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 a gift coming your way. Are you ready to accept it? Are you ready to move forward? Because you've gotten in this routine with the Page of Pentacles coming out. This is all about patience, your perseverance, you know, it's unexpected income coming in. Maybe it's a side gig, but it's, you know, being reliable, trustworthy, and realizing what you have to offer. You're someone that's going to persevere through every trial and tribulation that's going to come your way to get these blessings. Anything else we need to know with this new moon in Capricorn spirit? One more card. Love that. Ooh, okay. So not only are we getting the money, we are getting the two of cups. So we are getting a partnership, an equal give and take, love. You're going to feel super compatible with this person. This is someone who is going to make you feel safe, like you're not in fight or flight mode anymore. You know, it's that mutual respect, that equal give and take, that sharing of love. Your cup of love has already filled up and now you're ready to give it to someone else. This is balance. This is harmony in your life. This is, you know, this connection, but it's not going to be one-sided. I feel like you've been giving, 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 and people have been taking, taking, taking from you, and that's coming to an end. There's finally going to be harmony in your life because we literally have the five of wands in reverse. We've been getting this card a lot, but in the reverse, it's great because upright, it's all about conflict and, you know, situations like that, you know, fighting arguments. But in the reverse, it's, you know, you're ending those. You're moving forward. You're reaching a agreement. You're no longer struggling. You're moving into that compromising state because we have the judgment card right below this. So the judgment, reaping what you sow, it's that self-evaluation. Maybe it's a spiritual awakening, a spiritual ascension. You know, you're finally getting judged for, you know, what you've been doing in the world. If you've been trying to go ahead and see the good in people and do the right thing, it's going to pay off because you got your abundance coming in. Queen of Pentacles. So lots of pentacles. I'm not surprised showing up since we are moving into Capricorn season. But this is the card of abundance, health, wealth, prosperity, love, gratitude, anything that's raising your vibration and radiating at that higher level. This is also a creative flow, especially in your business. Maybe you're sparking a new idea, but it's definitely someone who also is nurturing, knows what they want. Right below that, we have the lover's card. Sorry, I got to hide the naked people, but... Um, you got major choices in love. We got the two soulmate cards coming out. Like I said, it's going to be that sexual attraction, but it's deeper than that. It's not a friends with benefits. It's not a, you know, just wham, wham. Thank you, ma'am. It's one of those things where you have the same morals, values, ideals, what you want in life, because right below that, I can't make this shit up, is the four of wands. So this is your happily ever after. You can kind of see the pillars, what you've been dreaming of are kind of like the 1111 here, but definitely it's feeling like you're part of a community. You know your place, you're coming together, there's some success, there's some teamwork, there's prosperity, potential wedding, commitment, celebration, you know, it's really honestly that grind aspect that you have because you have been grinding. We have the independent wealth card. We got the nine of pentacles. You know, you've been working on your own stability, your own financial success, your own financial freedom. And now you're finally going to get those rewards of your hard work. And it's going to be, you know, maybe that status, maybe that notoriety that you want to go ahead and offer. Splitting the deck, we literally have the two of pentacles and the nine of cups. So, Two of Pentacles, all about balance, balancing of your work and your love life, balancing of other situations in your life. The financial stress is going to be gone. It's a partnership. You know, there's been ups and downs, battles, but now it's coming into calmer waters. 
we have the nine of cups and then the ten of cups below it so this is your ultimate fulfillment your wishes are coming true it's positivity it's optimism it's literally that abundance having that confidence moving forward and you know getting those rewards it's also having self-esteem and realizing like you can do this if you put your mind to it but it's that optimism that you have so many opportunities so many things to live for and with the ten of you know cups coming out I mean, this is the family card. If you want to start a family, if you want your happily ever after, you want stability, security with someone in your life. It's your, you know, it's caring. It's feeling like, you know, you finally have that person. And I'm telling you, it's coming in fast. And we got divine counterparts. We got the king of pentacles and we just had the queen of pentacles. So the chariot is all about movement. You know, it's all about, you know, your hard work and focus, overcoming any obstacles that the universe has thrown at you and doing it with grace. Sevens is God's number. So divine timing with the king of pentacles. This is going to be someone who's well-grounded, who's stable, who's reliable, who's not a risk taker, but is going to build you up. They're definitely mature, know what they want in life. They're not afraid to express how they feel, what they want, what they need, what they desire. And right below that is literally the magician and the ace of wands. This is the magic stick card. So this is, you know, getting inspired. It's the sex card. It's that passion. It's that drive. It's that energy. It's finding, you know, accepting a challenge and breezing through it going through those obstacles and moving forward you got the talent you got the opportunity you got the blessings you got you got the riz as you know the gen z says <laughs> i learned that the other day riz means charisma but you got the riz you have a lot to offer and it's that creative spark it's that new that new new that you know that urgency accepting of a challenge and overcoming that because we have the magician so i'm telling you that is all about one and one is new beginnings whatever you want to manifest and bring in with this you know portal that we got going on as well why did i call it a portal maybe you've manifested it with the 1111 portal um but it's really the magician has everything you can see the infinity sign like you are in control the, the possibilities are endless. You got the cups, you got the pentacles, you got the wands, you got the swords. You're getting everything you want and more. You know, it's having that direction of your will and keeping your eye on the prize. Maybe you're getting into journaling. Maybe you're getting into more manifesting affirmations, visualizations, but whatever you're doing is really working and you're going to be able to manifest exactly what you want and what you desire. And that's going to be very important as we move into this energy. You got to keep hustling. You got to keep grinding. You got to keep pushing forward, but let's jump to LaRosha's deck. What else do we need to know for did I not say this? Third eye chakra. So literally you are more intuitive than you think. You already know this is coming. You know that you got to walk the walk, talk the talk, and then things are going to come in, right? But did I not say there's going to be a lot of passion in this connection, a passion in every area of your life, your career, your finances, your love life. It's going to be filled with that. And this person's about ready to explode. They're about ready to tell you how they feel. Because they feel like if they don't do it here soon, you got a lot of options. You are desirable. You have a lot of things to offer the world. And they know that they're running on a time limit out here. And if they don't go forward and tell you exactly how they feel, they might miss their chance. Because this is definitely your soulmate. We had two soulmates card and now we got the divine soulmates union coming out. But you're going to have the free will. It's going to be your choice. Do you want this person? Do you not? With the solar plexus chakra, you know, it's going to be deciding like I'm able to say yes or no because you are in your power. You know what's best for you and you're able to move forward. Whoa, we got a lot of cards popping out. But yeah, definitely someone from your past is going to come back because, you know, once people see you thriving, this could be a friend, a coworker, a relationship. They want to hop on that gravy train and get a slice of that pie. But I'm telling you, if they come back with an apology, I would take it with a grain of salt because a, the I'm sorry and then the deception came out. So there's definitely going to be some red flags lying to get by, you know, with the I'm sorry card. Yes, they're trying to be forgiving, but I think they're only coming forward for the wrong purposes because they are finally getting their karma. They got snakes around them. They got what people, you know, they reap what they sow. Like I said, with the judgment card, they're finally getting that betrayal. They're seeing people that they thought were friends are wolves in sheep clothing. And honestly, they're, they're getting their karma. It is what it is. But this is due to divine timing because you're now attracting in your soul tribe and your family. So people that come into your life 
are either a blessing or a lesson. It's just up to you to decipher who's who and who's here to go ahead and offer you that purpose and, you know, help you along your path and keep you on that grind, right? That are inspiring you to be a better person every single day because you're being guided by your ancestors from above. God, the universe, whoever you believe in, we don't tell people who to believe in over here, but you're divinely protected and you're going to get exactly what you want, what you need, what you deserve. But I'm here to bring you the tea. Call me Kermit the Frog. Ribbit, ribbit, bitch. You got to stop doubting yourself. You got to stop thinking, I'm not good enough to start my own business. I'm not ready. I can't go for that promotion. I don't have enough experience. That person's not going to like me if I tell them how they feel. I'm scared to lose them. You got to do it. You got to stop let fear control your life. And you're no longer going to be in this denial stage or self-sabotaging or feeling like you're not good enough. Because I'm telling you, you're going to be able to spot these people from a mile away. Who's here to benefit you? Who's here to help you? Who's looking out for you? And who's not, honestly? Because we got wolves in sheep clothing out here. And I'm telling you, you're going to get your sage on. And you're going to get rid of these backstabbers. Because hoes will smile in your face the whole time they want to take your place. And I think you're realizing that. And you're cleansing your energy. You're cleansing your space. And I'm telling you, someone's deep in their feels. Bottom of the deck. I cried for you. Could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Worried that they missed their chance. That might be who's nostalgic right now. But definitely someone's deep in their feels about you. But they want to just have sex with you. I think they're just still immature. That person from the past is just feeling lonely. It's cuffing season. And I think they're just thinking about you got that good grip grip. You got that good whop. And now they're just like, mm, maybe I want a piece of that, you know. It, because they see you being successful. But this person is definitely still a karmic. They are in their karmic energy, lower negative energy, toxic, unhealthy connection, and you've elevated, you've leveled up, you have awoken to what your main purpose in life is, where you want to take things, and honestly, that is because, you know, you've been on this journey, and you're ready to cut people off, because you are the golden child, like I was saying earlier, you're the chosen one, you're protected, you got a whole badass spirit team up there looking out for you, and they really want you to be in a relationship where someone's in it to win it, in it to lose it, who's not going to breadcrumb you, who's not going to treat you like shit, who's not going to just give you this half ass, you deserve that equal give and take, and with the marry me card coming out, this is union, internal devotion, and I'm telling you, this is longevity, let's walk before we can run, so if you're single, this is getting in a relationship, moving in together, you know, coming into union, deciding where things go, because they know that they have a soul contract with you, they know that they're your soulmate. They know that you are different from other people. And with the throat chakra coming out, they're ready about ready to speak their truth. And so they're ready to tell you exactly how they feel. And they literally are obsessed with you. They've been watching you from afar. Maybe you know who this is. Maybe you friend zone them. Maybe you just didn't know like, man, I don't know who this is or what they have to offer. But it's definitely going to be a divine masculine energy. Energy's energy. Definitely someone who thinks with their head or their head. But I'm telling you, you're going to get some receipts on this, my love. So with the receipts card out here, once again, it's phone call, text, communication arrives. And it's just going to be up to you. Do you want this person? Do you not? Because proof's going to be in the pudding. I think you're going to want to go ahead and recognize that you want this longevity. You want a partner in crime. You want someone who's going to be reliable and stable. And once their mask comes off, you just know that there's no turning back. Once they reveal how they feel, I think you're going to feel the exact same way because you both have ascended. You both have became the phoenix rising. You've gone through some shit in your life to go ahead and realize like this is exactly what I want, what I need, what I deserve. And I had to go through these people, these frogs to go ahead and meet my Prince Charming or, you know, vice versa. But this person coming in really does love you and care for you. It's not just going to be a hookup session because you are a whole entire vibe. They know that you are unique, you deserve the world, and they're not going to settle for less because you are calling in your abundance. So abundance, like I said, is more to me than just prosperity and wealth. It's health, wealth, love, gratitude, and I'm telling you, you can have whatever you like. So it could be an earth sign. I mean, we are moving into Capricorn season. It could be a time frame, but they want to be your provider. They want that white picket fence, the house, the dogs, the cats, whoever you want and more. You guys have aligned 
you know, align goals, values, ideals, because you have been this go-getter, your business is going to be looking good, and that's what they admire about you, that you have a strong work ethic, and you don't need them. You can want them, but you don't need them. You are stable, reliable, independent, bad bitch, bad king on your own, and yes, you can have them, and they just want to build an empire with you, and I'm very excited about that, but let's jump to the moonology and get some more details about what's coming with this new moon in Capricorn please and thank you spirit what do we need to go ahead and know yeah hold your vision and look at the bigger picture exactly don't get caught up in the day-to-day -day. you know I have a hard issue with letting my emotions rule my reality and I'm just letting you know you can't let your past hold you back we're leaving those exes those toxic people in 2022 and we are moving forward whoa that one really wanted to come out but a win-win outcome is forecasted. Here's the scale again, Libra energy. There's going to be a balance. Whatever you want, you're on the right path. You cannot lose. And good things are coming to an end so better things can fall in their place. And you know, you're just going to be in this period of relaxing. If things feel slow, stuck, stagnant, that's for a reason. Because you know, you are just taking time to breathe out. Be present in the moment and appreciate the little things. That is the fastest way to raise your vibration and get exactly what you want because Capricorn's popping out. An end of a tough cycle approaches. So with an end of a tough cycle approaching, you know, you could be seeing a lot of 1010s moving forward, but just letting you know you're very close to achieving your goal. So eye on the prize. Like I said, walk the walk, talk the talk, and surrender to the divine. Stop trying to control the who, what, when, where, why. Allow them to surprise you and show you exactly what they need, what they want, what they deserve. Because communication is going to be key. Gemini energy. So those visualizations, those talking things out, those not jumping to conclusions, you know, those meditations are going to do you some justice out here. I'm not going to lie to you. Did I not say meditate? Meditate and contemplate. Get into a grounded state and realize Am I just feeling this? Am I in fight or flight mode? Is it a defense mechanism? Am I being codependent? Anything along those lines. But let's see what else we need to know. Well, this one wanted to flip over. So I'm going to take the ones that literally are like flipped over in my head. Or in my head? In my hand. I can't talk today. But your hard work is paying off. New moon and Capricorn showing up that, you know, you've been putting in the energy, the time, the deliverables, and it's going to work out. Believe in the impossible. Whatever you want to go ahead and achieve, you can have. Whatever you can think up here, you can bring into the tangible 3D. And it just might require you to step out of your comfort zone and it'll require a few adjustments in your life. But you're able to move forward and, you know, make those tweaks and realize you're always growing, you're always developing, you're always changing. And did I not say prosperity lies ahead? You got money, 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 honey. And at the bottom of the deck, show the world the real you. It's not a period of time to go ahead and hide, be, be vulnerable, be open, be truly authentically yourself, whatever that means for you in your career, in your love life. Really put yourself out there because I'm telling you, a new start is coming. A new romantic cycle is beginning. And this is a blessing from the universe. God, your ancestors, they're like, damn, you're deserving of this. You've done so much hard work and it's time to take action. So like I was saying, walk the walk, talk the talk, get aggressive, know what you want, know what you deserve, what you need, because luck is on your side. So I'm telling you, luck is right around the corner. You know, you are a lucky person, even if you don't feel like it, but the universe is ready to pay you off. You just have to realize what do you need to release? Is that a person? Is that your past? Is that a friend? Is that a job? Whatever that is, you must do that because confidence is going to be the key to your success. Leo energy. Approach it that it's already yours. You've already manifested it. Law of assumption out here because the answers you need are coming because you're good enough. You've done the work. You've done the healing and you need to know that you deserve this, okay? We got a lot of earth sign energy. We got some fire signs. We got some, you know, a lot of, I basically have everything that's represented over here. But I'm just saying, like, I feel like you got a lot of options in a lot of areas of your life. And it's time to take control and decide what you want and what you need and what you deserve. But let's jump to the shadow and light oracle and see what you need to know. So our dark truths for and our higher self, what do we need to know? First card that came out, 
Nautilus Princess, powerful personal growth. Exactly. This shell is always continuously growing and evolving. So just knowing that, you know, even when things get started, you know, you're going to have, you're going to stand in your power and know your worth. Because I'm telling you, that person from the past is going to be a tempting offer. You can see the Venus flytrap, right? It says a tempting offer has a high price. You need to realize you need to be careful with those people that come back in your life. You can forgive them. You can move forward. But do you really need them in your life? Do you deserve them? Are they helping you with your purpose or are they not? Because it's time for a treat. Candy cane angel. So I'm telling you that could be a reference to Christmas time or around the holiday season. But it's time for a treat. The universe is saying you've suffered enough. You've learned the lessons. You've closed those karmic cycles. And you know... It's calm amidst the chaos, and now it's time for your calm. It's time for your healing. It's time to decide what you want to go ahead and do because I'm telling you, there's going to be a giant breakthrough here. So with the Violet Angel, that's talking about a new beginning, a breakthrough. A, you know, like we started out with the world card. It's like having the world at your fingertips and finally getting that new cycle, that new completion. Because I'm telling you, with the trick or treat, we're here. So fives are all about change up here. So this could have started happening in Halloween. Maybe people started exiting out of your life. And really realizing like who your true friends are because you know the past will return for a brief time and you're going to have to decide do you want to live in the past do you not want to live in the past and I think you're not going to want to live in the past I know I don't want to live in the past anymore. But the transitions to the spirit realm, you could be getting more to intuitive, getting into a spiritual routine, taking those five, ten minutes to yourself to meditate, to get grounded, to think through things and not realize what like realize what's around you and what's the truth and what's an illusion and what you have to offer. Because I'm telling you, an important end brings a new beginning out here. So you're going to get that brand spanking new beginning in your love life, in your career. And I'm telling you, this new moon, you definitely need to manifest. It's going to give you exactly what you want, what you need, because we have a powerful energy shift. So 1010 10 is all about completion of karmic cycle. A powerful energy shift is a change in what you need, because at the bottom of the deck, you finally see clearly now. People, I can see clearly now the rain is gone. You know, I can't sing, but you know, people that have violated you, violated your boundaries, did not respect you. You're moving forward and you're seeing clearly. So you're seeing people for who their true colors are and where you want to be things because you're going to have this aha moment and things are going to light up in your brain and you're going to be like, mm, I don't want that. I don't need that. I don't deserve it. I can appreciate and respect the memories that I have with those people, but I have transitioned into this beautiful butterfly. I have went from being in a caterpillar to being in a cocoon and transforming into this beautiful butterfly. And that's really the energy you have because I'm telling you, you're bringing forth a miracle out here. Whatever you are manifesting, you are literally in that abundance energy. You are in your power. You are that magician. And you need to respect and realize like, damn, I can do this. And when this comes in, it's going to be a miracle. Splitting the deck, I think, you know, you're telling people to back off. You know, you got your eye on the prize. You you know what you want and you're willing to go after it. That's for sh damn sure. But I'm telling you, there's going to be a clear solution to your problem. So if things have not felt clear, you don't know what to do, you got options and you're like, I... I don't know. You're finally going to get this clarity and a clear solution in your mentality, especially with the lantern. It's like seeing in the dark, right? But I'm just telling you from death comes rebirth. So new cycles, good things must come to an end so better things can fall in their place. And I think you're finally realizing that, that you can miss someone, but you can miss someone that literally treated you like crap. You can mourn that relationship, but you got to be your true authentic self. Once again, eight showing up, which is that abundance. And I said that at literally eight, 28, 38. So eights are going to be really prominent in your life, knowing that you're deserving of this. And you really just don't give a fuck what anyone else thinks about you right now, bestie. That is the true energy that you have. You're going to do what makes you happy and you're really not going to care what other people think about you or if it's the right way or if they would approach it the way you would, right, Oliver? You're really just going to be owning and respecting what you need, 
what you deserve and it's going to be a great era for you. This is going to be a transformable time in your life and you just need to realize that and do it for you for once or do it for you and your pets or you and your kids. But it's going to be good news. I'm very excited for this new moon. I'm going to be manifesting. If you want me to post a video on what I'm doing or go live and kind of we can do it together, just let me know. But make sure you go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps your girl out. And we're so close to a thousand besties. We're pushing forward. We got our eye on the prize. And if I'm telling you to do something, I got to do it myself, right? I can't, I can't not practice what I preach. That would be fake as hell. And I'm not a fake as hell person. So I love you so much, besties. And like I said, hit that subscribe button. You'll be entered to win a free personal reading. And I only read for free, so I'm just letting you know this is your opportunity to get after it. But I want you to take that time for yourself to script out what you want and put it into your dream state as it already happened to you, okay? And drink your water. Take care of each other. Go work out. Find those healthy outlets because, you know, Money's going to be flowing in. Love's going to be flowing in. I love you so much, besties, and have a fantastic day. Bye.